All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Talk with Stephen. Talk with Stephen is a weekly talk show conducted by obviously me, Stephen. Uh, it's a talk show where I will be featuring many individuals who are successful in terms of their business, career, and also practically in life. So uh, this talk show is actually brought to you by ET Ideas. ET Ideas is a social business incubator. Uh, which is focused on developing entrepreneurs to step out of the system and solve world problems. So uh, we have been in operation since 2008 and uh, until now we have developed around uh, around 32 companies in various different fields such as IT, video production, training company, youth movement, um, accounting, website management companies, renovation, chess companies, there's a lot of companies that has been currently developed and also built by ET Ideas. If you guys would like to, you know, venture in your own business, want to start up something on your own or wanted to focus on your passion and build it as a career or a business, then you can uh, contact me. I can put my number later after this talk show. You can always contact me. We can talk about how we can help you in your own career and also in your personal development and lives as well. So uh, today, we have someone very interesting in my talk show. I think I already put uh, in my in the poster who it is, but uh, let me introduce her as well. Um, we have Miss Caroline here today with us. We're going to talk in a few more seconds. Uh, Caroline is the founder of Nyonya Caroline Arts Alive, where she produces customized arts for people, uh, bottle arts and everything. She's also a professional henna artist at Fresh Ink Mehendi. Fresh Ink Mehendi is a very famous henna, uh, henna page run by Uma Devi. And um, Caroline is one of the person who is under Fresh Ink Mehendi doing professional henna arts for everyone. And she's also a featured artist and artisan cottage. It's a very creative page that's available in Instagram. You guys will definitely go and follow it. I will put the link later on as well. She is also a social media manager working with someone who is a digital marketer, handling her about digital transformation, helping clients about how they can do go digitalize their business, go to online and all this stuff. Caroline is helping them as well. And she's also an ET Ideas Associates. So, um, Caroline is a very Caroline's story is very inspiring because uh, prior to the pandemic she was working in a corporate everyone everything was fine and everything and when the MCO uh, first MCO was uh, put into implement and she lost a uh, income that is a uh, total loss of her income uh, due to the MCO and uh, what she did after that was really inspiring many people will go into renting mode and all this stuff need to find job and all kind of stuff but what Caroline did was very inspiring, and that's why she uh, I invited her to be in my talk show today. Uh, it's my honor to have Caroline here with me today. So without any further ado, let's welcome Caroline. Hi, Stephen. Hello, everyone. Hello, Thank Caroline. you for having me. Yes, uh, very nice to have you, Caroline, here today with us. Thank you for your time. I know you are doing so many things. You need to design your bottles. You need to go for Anna bookings and all this stuff. Thank you for... Um, as we're spending this time with me, 30 minutes. We have people saying hi, hi, uh, Priya. Um, for those of you who are watching this live show right now, maybe you can share this uh, talk show in your, in your profile or whatever. Just share it out to people. So that people uh, or the friends that you don't know who lost their job and still until now looking for a job can get inspired by how Caroline handled that situation. So um, hi, Carol, how are you? Hi, I'm good. I'm good. I'm actually nervous and also excited. <laughs> it's okay, no problem. Our audience are very nice. They will ask questions, but if you don't know the answer, you can just tell them that you don't know the answer. They are very fine as well. So okay, we I'll are. Be yep, yeah, big truthful is the best thing. Yep. And uh, we are going live from uh, two pages, which is uh, ET Ideas. Uh, ET Ideas. Uh, create your work relative Facebook group and also in my uh, own Facebook profile, Stephen Raj profile. So thank you guys for joining us for today. Uh, Caroline, so, oh, people are saying hi. Hi, to hello. Caroline. Hello, hello guys. Thank you. Thank you everyone for joining today. Do share the live session with us. So let's get on to today's topic, Caroline. Like we, you turn the obstacle, the biggest obstacle that we all face together, MCO, into your opportunity. Okay. Um, you, you mentioned that you have lost the, your income during the MCO time, start from pay card and you lost the entire income after that because you know, the industry also was doing very bad at that point of time. Um, how was your emotions when you know that your income is totally lost? Oh. Uh, you, got, you, you got no more salary <laughs> after that. <laughs> okay, basically, uh, well, when uh, <clears throat> when it, ha it happens during the MCO, like, like how you mentioned, and mm -hmm. um, 
when it happens truthfully i go very 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 panic from uh you know like uh uh sad to angry to excited to no, no, every every emotion just jumble up but i know i'm not okay okay it was, so yeah. yeah you are not okay you don't know the dilah that you are not okay because it's obvious right everything is happening and um, you are totally if if i was in that situation i will be sad as well I will get angry why they do this to me and I will go into the ranting mode and everything. So, uh, denial also got. Denial, yes. How come they do this to me? It's not fair, all this stuff. So, uh, how did you handle these emotions, Carol? Because uh, it's, it's, um, it's a very sad emotion, you know, and usually people, normal people, we tend to lie on the sad emotion more. Like, you know, we will, we will, sometimes you will imagine us in a very sad situation. We will lie in that and everything. How did you handle that emotions? Okay. Truthfully, I, I didn't handle it on my own. I'm very grateful. I have a platform, grew a people environment and also a mentor to guide me through. So at that time, um, how when it all happens, I know I'm not okay really, but I just don't know what should I do next because everything looks like it's crumbling down, you know. Sometimes I cry, sometimes I was angry, sometimes I, you know, like, the emotion roller coaster. Mm. <laughs> so what, what I did was, one thing is I consulted my mentor a lot. I really put my faith totally in them, once, uh, to totally in them. And whatever they ask me to to do i just listen and do it because they have been guiding so many people you know like uh on et ideas itself there are 30 over 30 businesses and also there's so many associates they're so successful so who am i to doubt so i just go here and listen to what they say and i just i just do what they what, what they ask me to do you know it doesn't matter if i understand don't understand it's okay just do it first and uh, other mechanism i used to cope is um i i have this um, morning routine where i listen to me and i which is a web series by my mentor, Miss Basala, and it very is very helpful for me. For me, at that time when I tune in every morning, it just helped me to calm down my emotions and focus my thoughts back. Because when everything is happening, I truthfully speaking, I really cannot focus. My mind is a lot about going back to can I survive or not? You know, I am so sad. This is unfair and things like that. You know, all of this emotion, this uh, this PIS thing is coming out of me. So when I go back and tune in to me and I, it helps me to, you know, go back to solution, go back to focus on my goal, focus on what I really want. So it, it will it will help me like the vibes inside or some of the content inside. Somehow it just helps me through every single day I will watch. Even until today, I still do the same. I, I still uh, access to me and I a lot. Okay. So that, that's, that's uh, so one thing, two things that you did is you go and consult your mentors uh when you are in that kind of situation because uh is is let's just be honest when you are in a problem all of us when we are in certain problems we cannot solve the issues because the problem is happening to us we cannot see a solution properly all we can do is dwell around the problems so if you go and talk to someone who is not in dwelling in your problem or someone who has the experience handling this kind of situation go and talk to them your mentors and they actually help you to think straight and you know ask them to are you, they ask you to do certain things for you to handle your emotions better and one thing that you did by yourself is watch the me and i web series done by miss vasala krishnan she's my mentor as well um uh, i think uh, you will go and watch the me and i every single day to get into you know uh, to set the tone right for your day right yes yes that's uh, that's true and also some are like you know i i just watch according to i just follow my heart lah whatever yeah, my heart right. click i just watch lah but somehow uh, how say, uh, sometimes when i was tuning into it it's not necessarily i will understand the whole content but it will help me when the situation arise for example yeah. something doesn't go well and things like that then i will recall what i have watched you know my, my subconscious yeah. the new programming will just kick in and tell me that hey focus on solution brief okay, what is yeah. the lesson that i'm supposed to learn here so yeah. it really 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 helpful especially during the transition the transition is not a one night thing it took me quite some time to come out of it but it's very helpful to have people and also a platform to really help me come out of it yeah i think the me and i platform is like a weekly talk show just like talk with steven but uh this time is run by my mentor and they will talk about different topics and i think yesterday every wednesday they will go live at uh, eight o'clock 
and um, I think yesterday they talked about finances. I think for me also, I I, go, I tune into me and I web series a lot. Uh, every single, uh, not every single day, every week when they go live. Uh, I think one one situation that happened to me is I was having a meeting at 8.30 p.m. on Wednesday, right after me and I, but my mind is saying like, are you no need to go for this meeting? Don't want la, um, so lazy la, this person not gonna sign up la, all, all this stuff is happening in my head. But luckily, I didn't postpone the meeting. I go for me and I first. And when I went, when I was there, the when the vibes was very different. Everyone was talking about finding solutions and all this stuff. I was like, hmm, okay, you know what? Let's just let's, let's go for the meeting. So I set my end goal, my thoughts, words, and action. Everything was correct. I went to the meeting. I the girl immediately paid and signed up for the program that I was doing. So um, that's how it's helped me. Maybe I can put the link in the. Facebook in the, uh, I think in the chat box. If you guys want it, go ahead and check out me and I have series and you can join as well. So, um, Caroline, first of all, so your emotion is there and now your mentor is guiding you and you're also watching me and I have series to handle your emotions a bit better. After that, what did you do? Do you like go back to find more jobs after that or what did you do, Carol? No, finding jobs really doesn't cross my mind at all. <laughs> okay, because you just you've just, uh, you've just come up from that. You don't want to go back to again and everything. Is it? Actually, because I was in a panic panic zone, I couldn't think. Nothing coming up. If I if now when I look back, you know, um, I I am so grateful that I just listen to my mentor and go ahead with whatever they are telling me to do. You know, uh, at that time I was already picking up skills, but I did just didn't know. I just don't know how these skills can help me. So I already pick up some henna skills. I pick up some other things that comes along and things like that. I put my full trust in my mentor and just go ahead with whatever they're telling me because I know I'm in good hands. So okay. many people have been in good hands. I know that I'm in good hands. I just need to, you know, have the faith and go ahead with it. You know, my heart is also telling me to go with my mentor. Lah. If mm. given to me to make the decision, the choice, right, when I look back, I think I would have done more damage because one thing okay. is I was... So reactive. How to go find job like that? <laughs> Second thing is, um, what is it called? Uh, I might end up in you know other more harmful, harmful, harmful uh, situation. For example, I might end up with because I was so focused on money and things like that. I might end up in scams. I might end up with so many other uh, you know want to make money fast. This kind of thing. So high chances. Uh, high chances are because it's very reactive, you know, and the emotion is very strong, high and very real. So having mentors going having a point that i can go back to is really really helpful for me even today is still very helpful okay so that that is why you uh, you are okay now lah. you did something for yourself and, and and everything because uh i have spoken to many people uh in phone my my basic of job is marketing and sales so i have spoken to many people over the phone most of them you know completely lost their job rate range and everything and they are in the mode of renting and also like the, i want to get a job i want to get a job no matter what job is that i, I will whatever job is that i'll just take it and do it and, and stuff like that so uh, they are in that kind of mode if you are already in that kind of mode your thought is already like negative and all the stuff no matter how many job interview when also it's very difficult for you to get a job because the emotion is not okay so uh, in your case caroline you handle that emotion very well after that um, you mentioned something interesting you picked up a henna skills and then you start to do something on your own. You already have a skill, but you just don't know how this thing will help you. I'm pretty sure many of the audience watching today, they also have a skill, but they don't know how this thing will help them to gain the income or whatever it is. What skill that you have and how did you uh, come back from that? Like from no income, how did you build your income after that? I remember some sharings uh, from uh, this associate and so from mentor before, uh, mentioned about, you know, it's not, about uh, seeing ahead the plan and things like that. It's about looking back and connecting the dots. Something like that. Okay. So this is um okay. Uh, when I was still working in corporate, I took up henna skills and uh, by accident. Okay. <laughs> yeah. The reason because this, I, I saw my friend uh, Uma, which is the founder of Fashion Mahendi, uh, my Mahendi, and I haven't seen Mahendi before. And she was doing it. Then I'm like, hey, very fun. Uh, let's pick out and draw a stick man. <laughs> Wow. So, so, so you, before I, that, you never know how to do Mandy. I never know how to do I don't even draw. I don't even go art class. Okay, okay. I just think I'm so bad at it. <laughs> because I never even draw before and things like that. So when I uh, happened to pick up on this, and it, it came to me first as a very relaxing, therapeutic uh, 
uh, mood, you know, I come back from work, I just want to be relaxed. So I feel my handy helps me to relax. So I just draw something on the paper and things like that. Then after that, it becomes something that, eh, I, from that skills, it uh, convert to something else, which is my, uh, my mentor was able to see it much clearer than I do. Uh, I, it, it convert into bottle arts, which um, is something very, very new in the industry itself. Like, uh, uh, what happened was, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and share what happened, how really? yeah, I started the bottle arts and things like Okay, What happened was, um, I, I have another housemate, we bought the same bottle. And... Uh, you the I, same water almost, bottle. Correct. Exactly okay. the same, exactly same colour. So we thought, okay, you know what? I, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to paint the... Uh, I'm going to draw something on the cap. So make sure that I don't drink her bottle. She don't drink my bottle, you know. But the thing is, it doesn't work. Is I almost accidentally drink her water. So then I was trying to figure out a way, hey, you know, let's think of a solution. How can I differentiate in one go, one blend? I know that's my bottle. And from far, I know that's my bottle. And I won't take anyone else else's bottles. Then the idea came in to connecting all the dots together. One, I have very basic henna skills. And second thing, there's pain at home. There's acrylic pain at home. And at that time, I was also uh, helping a friend to explore into um resin arts you know mm. coating different kinds of canvas and things like that so i found it very fascinating you know you can you can wash the thing and things like that so i think i'm thinking hey this can work so i use uh, i use whatever uh, mean skills that i have and created my very first bottle which is not intended to sell which is uh, yeah it's not intended to sell i just post it this online is the, this is the first bottle right yes the accidental this is bottle. Mine. So Correct. that is the original bottle on the left hand side. The right hand side is some drawings that you did. It is hand painted. Yes, yes. Everything is using henna skill. So you can see the mandala and things like that. Okay. So uh, this is my very first bottle, which I don't intend to sell at all. I, I never think of it to be a business. Uh, at that time, I still have uh, I still have my income, partial uh, income and things like that. So it doesn't worry me so much. But when the, the uh, total income drop even further, further off, uh, then that is where my mentor tell me that, hey, you know, you have these skills. Why not do this into a business? So I'm like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I've never been an entrepreneur and asked you to be, do business. <laughs> scary. It's scary. It took me one month to accept the first order. <laughs> that I can the order is it. already there, but you don't want to do it because you're too scared. Yeah, I was too okay. scared to do it. I okay. was too scared to do it. But then uh, my mentor keep encouraging me and people started like, you know, when when I, okay, I, I just pick up the phone and started doing that. Just, just do it lah. Whatever emotion that I'm feeling scared or whatever it is, I just do it. And it turns out so well. And I post it online again, more people started ordering. More people started ordering. And from there, I can see what my mentor have mentioned to me. The more you think about something, uh, the more your subconscious will actually uh, make it more excellent, refine the skills itself. So from, you know, normal, normal painting, you see my first bottle, right? I now can paint um, photography photo, photo of, um, yeah. You, you give, yeah, you gave me your photo, what you want we me to We have paint. the picture, i show you guys. Okay, yeah. this is the first picture, first bottle that Caroline draw. And okay. from there, you can see this is the picture. This is the other design that Caroline did, which is very simple design. And I think it's amazing. And to top it that, that's, this is not enough, guys. This to top that, Caroline start to do like, you know, bring the experience to life. Look at this picture. <laughs> you can yeah, about this bottle, like, you know. yeah, this is actually a love story. I only started noticing that I'm actually telling other people's story on the on the painting on the water bottle so they can bring it around and enjoy their own experience itself. Um, this a bottle is booked by uh, the girlfriend, which uh, th that particular photo is taken by her boyfriend, which is a photographer. And she likes, she wants to archive something very special. And that is the first place that they have their first date. Wow, okay. Uh, so okay. They, she archived it on the bottle and she gave it to her, she gave it to her partner and her partner was so surprised. You know, it, it was a it was a challenge for me to paint, paint that, but I'm very grateful that nature really, really gave me the opportunity to keep upgrading my skills. Even until today, I still have orders that sometimes I just don't know how to paint, but I follow my heart and also use whatever that my mentor has uh, uh, taught me, set an end goal and keep focusing on it. 
and it came out so well. Okay, you well. know, sometimes I make mistake, but it's okay. I can keep doing until I get it. Yeah, and then it's this move to this. Oh my god, this is so <laughs> cool. Okay, the moment I saw this bottle, I I lost I lost already because I'm a big Rajinikan fan, and the moment I I saw this particular art it's just super duper good i thought you know for what, what come to my mind is you print a sticker and put it in the bottle i thought mm. like that but you actually hand painted that right yes i use henna so, code okay. henna i don't code. know how you do this Thank but you. it's amazing you know so uh, that so this this arts you start from very simple bottle and it's deeper and then you start to do more and more and more like what you said your along the way when you're doing it your skills also start to improve and you can do any kind of things right now whatever that they want you can already do it and all right so mm, it's, it's improving, very nice. <laughs> improving very very nice and this become a sort of your income yes okay so after you doing this bottle art and everything what happened after that now you're earning your income you start coming from the bottle art and everything but you did also something other things right uh, like it's not social media manager yes. Yeah, it's not just a bottle art also because bottle art is considered pretty new. You need some time to market it and things like that. And I'm very grateful I have people that are helping me to do this also. And uh, um, uh, uh, so other than that, I also took up henna skills. Okay, oh, and, uh, so nice. Not just henna skills. I also managed to go into um, digital transformation with an amazing person from uh, Itibus Ramya and I really love working with her because the way how she, I learned a lot from her, you know, and I, mm -hmm. the way how she teach me to, you know, uh, handle myself, handle the way I observe how she handled herself so well and so professional make me in awe of people. I want to be that also. And moreover, more talent that I didn't know I have in me come up. I used to write home when I was in secondary school, but one of the days I go for camp and, you know, guys and, you know, teenagers, guys and girls, I was writing poem while, you know, uh, looking at outside the window lah, like, saja nak rasa-rasa lah. But what happened was, one of the guys just picked my book and he started reading out my poem and everybody were laughing, you know, because my poem was really horrible at that time. <laughs> so, okay. I got so scared, I stopped writing poem. But one of the things that I managed to do uh, after, uh, after this MCO, the skills that I didn't know I have, is social media, which writing caption. All of this writing caption, when I look back, it's, it came out of my, my love of writing poems, of reading poems, uh, writing quotes, or come up with a wise word and things like that. So I'm like, oh, this is how it works with you. So I'm, re I'm really happy of what uh, other skills and talent that can came out and uh, out of the difficulties and make it into an opportunity to explore what I have in me. Very nice. So, so from that, you become a social media manager now, handling other people's social media and writing captions and all this stuff, helping people to go digitalize, digital their business and everything. So, this is you working with your clients together with Ramya. The mm -hmm. person on the right is Ramya. So, um, so this is how you're doing it. And um, and then you are somebody commented. People are saying it's so nice, so good. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank All you. Praise goes to Carol, Caroline. <laughs> so <laughs> so after you are doing this, you you said you also picked up henna skills. Like the henna in your hand, you you put by yourself, is it? Yes, yes, yes. I have practiced henna because uh, in freshing, I'm part of freshing Mehendi, as you mentioned. And in freshing Mehendi, is uh, first important to practice. The more you practice, the better you get. So I'll try to practice all the designs as much as I can. If I don't have mangsa to practice, so my, my own hand will be the mangsa. Lah. So, <laughs> and this is part of my income too. I found out that I, I, I love doing uh, henna. And now I started to do on bridal henna thanks, thanks to my very dear tutor, which is Uma uh, from the founder of Freshing Mehendi. She has taught me so much, you know, even the skills that I'm learning from uh, Freshing Mehendi, which is the henna skills I never draw before. So whatever skills I'm learning from that is uh, I transfer it into my bottle art, into my own business. So it, it defines from there. So I go out. So now I can do for bridal and uh, for guests and uh, I started doing more and that supplements my income even more. It, it helps me like and I really, really, really enjoy it. Okay. It's all started that you went for one of the introductory workshop by Uma and the Freshing Mehendi just for fun to, yeah. you know, to spend some time and all because you're already in the mood of uh, emotions all piling up when you lost your income and everything. 
So to you know do something, you just went for this introductory workshop. You paid and went for this introductory workshop, and now it brings you a lot, a lot of opportunities. And in in a way, it's now bringing you all the income that you need to mm. cover whatever it is sufficient income and everything. That's really amazing, Caroline. Uh, that, that's thank you for sharing with us. That I think uh, Freshy Mindy is organizing another Hena introductory workshop, right? Can mm, share yes. a bit a bit later. Yeah. Okay. So uh, like I said, is looking back and connecting the dots. I didn't know that. I would do arts. I didn't know that I would do uh, Mehendi. And even my parents are surprised. I myself are surprised. Until today, I still cannot <laughs> digest it. I was surprised. <laughs> oh, wow. Someone can do henna. Okay. <laughs> but that's the interesting part. Oh, you get to meet a lot of people, and then you get to listen to a lot of stories and things like that. But you start from taking that first step. If I didn't take that first step to just try out uh, henna for fun, I was trying out for, you know, for fun and also to draw a stick man. Uh, and it mm. turns out to be a very useful skills and it's not just for henna it also turns out to be something for uh, my bottle art which is a very unique skills using henna skills henna drawing skills and henna roll uh, cone rolling skills uh, to paint i don't use i very rare i will use a uh, brush it's always henna cones and my mm. fingers normally yeah because i don't know how to use brush and uh and other than that i also see uh i, I mean part of freshing show when we do the workshop there are people uh, from the past participants who came back to freshing and show uh, my recent uh, birthday cake uh, which i love it so much from susha you know creation thank you you're tuning in today also <laughs> uh, yeah. she used the henna henna skills that she learned from her introductory workshop to to incorporate into her uh yes. baking yeah baking and she does a very beautiful job with it uh, making mandala and also carving, uh, writing my name on top. So I really, really love it. Thank you so much. And it's so delicious. Yum, yum. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. uh, I think you guys are conducting the next introductory workshop on 25th of uh, April. Um, you guys still have free left, seats left, right? Yeah, we have limited seats, but uh, we have limited seats, but you can join in. Uh, it will be on the 25th of uh, April, and it's only a three hours workshop. A uh, henna kit will be delivered to your place. And this time, the henna uh, uh, introductory workshop has a very special gift. Not a, two very special gifts, which I will reveal to you if you would like to know more about what is in store for, uh, for you for in this henna introductory workshop by Freshing Mehendi. You can always contact the WhatsApp number. Thank you so much, Stephen, for putting it yes, into the comments. Yes, I think comments. I already put the number. I will put in my profile also. Yeah. So, can, yeah. You can just click. You just never know what is the Pandora box that's waiting for you. You know, you just yeah. need to start somewhere and I'm so glad I follow my heart and start yeah, somewhere. I think I think you just need to start somewhere because if you never start, you never know. And nobody knows Caroline going to be an henna artist and mm -hmm. Caroline going to do a bottle arts. Nobody knows mm -hmm. this. But the moment you try something, that leads you to another opportunity, another opportunity. And that makes you to gain the income right now. Now you are happy. You have an income right now to cover your expenses and all the stuff. You are happy with that. So mm -hmm. and all the other opportunities starts to come in along the way. Yeah. I think even my my niece went for this henna introductory workshop, and now she's very excitedly drawing the mother's hand, how to do henna, and all the stuff. And she wanted to take the other basic classes that uh, Freshing is providing. So do join, guys. Um, do join if you have if you like arts, go for it, try it out. Who knows what gives you the next uh, opportunity and everything? Because yeah, like what you said, there are people doing cakes, people doing canvas art after that, like Caroline doing bottle arts after that. Nobody knows. So just go for it and try. Yeah. And, uh, uh, Stephen, can I share just a little bit yeah. more? Okay. If you don't know that whether you like arts or not, this is the perfect platform. This is the perfect workshop for you to try it out because it is a trial, uh, uh, introductory workshop that you can try whether you can draw or not. I believe that everyone can draw because I thought I cannot draw. Uh, one more thing that I would like to share is, um, you know, I'm a Chinese. So Chinese doing Mehendi is something very rare. So you go around people asking you, China girl, you do henna or <laughs> something like that. <laughs> so it's a very funny story. So I have stories with that people. Uh, one of the one of it is actually when I went back for my kampong uh, for Christmas, you know, if my first time went back for kampong uh, okay, for Christmas, I was a henna artist. And I didn't know I'm going to earn, uh, 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 I'm going to earn income out of it. I didn't know that Christmas, I go back and earn income, you know, I thought I'm going to spend for Christmas. <laughs> so what happened was there was a Christmas party and people were lining up to do henna. 
my mom get so excited, she go and promote me all over the place and people start coming in to do henna. Hey, you do henna, you do henna. For like four, five hours straight, I was sitting there at the party doing henna with me. Until the next day, people come to my house, make appointment to do henna with me. And when until- for what, you know, you're doing uh, income already. <laughs> yeah, I was so surprised. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm earning income from me. <laughs> just, doing, <laughs> just doing henna, just going for party. You know. Lucky me is I got bring henna along with me. Like, uh, just mm. in case if I can try out or I can practice and things like that. So it's, what I would say is, it's an unending supply you know, of people doing henna for events. Brides is always going to come for weddings and things like that. So it's a very good opportunity. I hope uh, you guys can try it out uh, and see for yep. yourself. Yes, can I? Thank you for thank you for your time. Thank you for sharing with us. I also will put the links for you guys to go and follow. We have Artisan Cottage, the page that uh, Caroline is uh, go, uh, you know featured artist there, Freshing Mehendi's page. Oh, this is very messy. I think I put nicely ready. Uh, in Freshing Mehendi's page, Caroline's profiles. Go and follow every one of them. You will know more things when you go follow them and everything. So uh, thank you, Caroline. I think one lesson I learned from you, right? Uh, when you are in the emotions, when your emotion is there, no matter it's happy emotion or sad emotion, you cannot look at things differently. You will, you, since you're already inside the problem, you cannot think clearly. And one thing that you need to do is to handle the emotions better. Calm down yourself, look at the positive sides and all these kind of things. It's safe, it can be said very easily, but it's very hard to do when you are in the problem. Once you handle that emotions better, and when you have the people to guide you, and that's when everything starts to change after that. Uh, where you start to take henna class for no reason and no apparent reason, but that become a good source opportunity. of opportunity. Opportunity for you. I think this is how you actually turn your biggest obstacle, MCO, into your opportunities. So thank you, Caroline, for that. Uh, thank you, everyone, for watching this uh, show. And I, I really enjoy uh, talking to you, Carol. Very nice sharing. I will just put another link in my profile. Okay. If anyone wants to go follow, please go and follow, guys. They are awesome artists. Okay. So thank you, Caroline. Thank you, everyone, for watching the show today. Um, that's all from us. Bye. Thank See you thank next you. week. Oh, okay. A little bit of teasing for next week. Next week, we're going to talk about a very interesting topic that every that's uh, somehow related to this topic, which is income. We're going to talk about managing your finances next week. I'm going to invite my close friend, someone who is handling my finances. So next week, stay tuned on Wednesday, 1 p.m. So see you guys next week. Bye, guys. Bye.